Hey guys, back again with a new episode. Uh, just want to apologize to my subscribers. Uh, it's been a while since I've put out any new content. But uh, today I have a little bit of a treat for you guys. Um, just wanted to show off my latest creation here. This is a uh, MX500 Razor um, gas electric hybrid. Um, I know there's already plenty of videos on YouTube with people taking these electric razors and, and uh, converting them over to gas. But uh, if you notice, there's something a little bit different about this one. Um, it still has the electric drive motor at the rear there and a gas engine. So what the heck is going on here? Um, basically, this thing operates the way a diesel locomotive does. I have a four-stroke, three-horse gas engine, and then I have another DC motor below it, and the gas engine spins up that DC motor, which then acts as a generator, and then the output energy from the generator then goes to the uh, electric drive motor. So basically acting as sort of a gas electric hybrid. Um, something a little different. I haven't seen anybody else do this. Um, I was always a big uh, train uh, fan as a kid. I was always uh, fascinated by diesel electric motor, uh, diesel electric uh, locomotives and whatnot. And uh, this is sort of a a concept build that I've always wanted to do and um, I came into possession of this uh, MX-500 from a, a buddy of mine and uh, he had this thing sitting in his garage and uh, it was pretty much gutted like uh, the batteries were gone the, the controller was gone it just had the plastics the wheels and the electric uh, drive motor was still there uh, it was basically just a just a roller and um, as soon as I saw it, I wanted it, and um, um, it it just I got the idea in my head right away that this is this is what I wanted to try to do. Um, I actually was not aware of these Razor bikes. I guess they've been out for quite a while, and uh, I was really impressed by the build construction. You know, the, the front and rear suspension, um, the really nice little kind of dirt bike look, and. Uh, I thought it was really neat, so just wanted to bring this to you guys today. Um, let's see here. Um, only thing that's a little bit uh, cheeky here is the gas tank um, I put on here. Uh, I actually saw some plastics though for like I don't know, an 80 cc or 50 cc Yamaha little dirt bike and. I think the, the plastic gas tank for those will probably fit in here and uh, it'll give it more of a, a stock look. Um, I think I've seen a guy on YouTube that, that did something like that where he had a, an actual plastic gas tank that would fit with the, the dirt bike look. So I might have to double check into that. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Um, three horse, life fan four stroke I got a 60 amp breaker here which also acts as a disconnect and um, this way you can start it up you can rev the engine it's not going to drive anything and then you just turn the breaker back on now the circuit is complete and when you rev it it will take off just like a dirt bike pretty cool got a little uh Got a little muffler under here. This was another uh, junk part that was just laying around. So I got this mounted under here and uh, got, uh, this is actually, I think a, a handlebar off of a bike, chrome handlebar. And I just kind of fab that in for the exhaust. And uh, it's actually pretty quiet. Sounds pretty good. Got a uh, V-belt clutch, centrifugal clutch, driving a belt down to the pulley on the uh, DC motor. 
aka generator now I guess um, my generator motor is the biggest DC motor that you can buy uh, basically it's a thousand watt 48 volt 26 amp 3000 rpm uh, electric motor which now operates as a generator um, let's see uh, a few other little modifications uh, with the throttle linkage here uh, they had a little weak spring here originally for the uh, governor lever so I just put a, a solid uh, piece of choke wire there and uh, pulls that pulls that governor lever no problem now and uh, revs right up got a little return spring I put in there uh, no big deal um, down here on the uh, bracket for the generator um, added a little belt tensioner mechanism here uh, this this uh, plate actually pivots down to uh, tension the belt uh, this is just a regular uh, lawnmower uh, deck belt idler pulley uh, nothing special about that uh, but yeah I'm pretty happy with this guys it, it turned out really really well and uh, it looks cool as hell um, so I think that's about it for the video um, please uh, leave me some comments likes um, subscribe and uh, let me know if uh, you like the video and if this is something you want to see a little more of uh, please uh, leave some comments